Do you need some affordable but beautiful gifts? For example, a bunch of thank you gifts for a wedding? I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful tea gift packages. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Tina. I am the designer and co-founder of Victoria Designs. Some of you may be familiar with the origami card holder. I used the same technique, but I adapted it a bit to actually fit some tea bags in there. And tied up with a ribbon, you can make some beautiful favors. As I do quite often, I provided the files that I used in this video for free. Just click on the download link below. Oh yes, if you like to craft with paper like I do, and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do, and I'll just keep the tutorials coming. So let's start making these. I tested it. You can make this with any letter size, so eight and a half by 11 inch papers or A4 papers. Or you can make it with the papers that I have here that you can download for free. And you have a few options to use these. Or you print only this side on one side and use it. Or you print this image on both sides, front and back. Then the inside of the gift pocket also has some color instead of white or you can print this side on one side and then you will have tea for you on both the outsides of the gift pockets i printed this on regular copy paper so that's 80 grams per square meter and i printed these on 160 grams per square meter uh, paper so that's a bit heavier and now let's make it first task is to cut this out because it has a white edge now if you're a bit familiar with the origami style card pocket you might say hey you need a perfectly square page to start with and yours isn't square now you've noticed very well we're going to use the same technique but a little bit different so you can fit two smaller size tea bags in there we start like this fold in half like this i like to use a bone folder you will see me use this one more often later on in this tutorial because it gets thicker open up again and then fold the sides to the middle line there oh, so crisp yeah other one too like this nice and clean open up again and then fold these corners until this side matches this line and we're going to do that on all four sides now i advise to fold these right on that side next to the folding line not completely on it that way the whole pocket will fold better so again this one not completely on the fold but right next to it like this same here right and this fold these flaps back in there give it an extra rub if you need it and then flip it over turn it 90 degrees and then measure from the outside in from every side two and a half inch or if you work in centimeters six and a half centimeter that's approximately the same so two and a half inch and mark it two and a half inch from the other side and mark it and then fold right on that mark up make sure your fold starts right there holding it I'm going further with my bone folder to make a really nice crisp fold crispy and go further here okay open up and do the same on the other mark so make sure to 
start your fold right on that mark yes don't worry about the pencil mark you won't see it anyway it'll disappear forever right there okay now take one of the flaps doesn't matter which one and just put it in there like this right and try to do it neatly use your bone folder to tuck it in neatly go over the edges again because this gets quite a thick package by now and fold double there essentially your pocket is ready so you can fit a smaller size a let's be honest a normal size tea bag in there some of you will be annoyed by this edge this opening and a simple solution for that is to use a pretty piece of washi tape and just put it in there that's even too big i'm gonna use a smaller piece just stick it in there and it's gone to finish this gift pocket because it's not ready yet i'm going to glue some ribbon here and i'm simply going to glue it with some tacky glue this is aline's tacky glue so open it up i'm going to open it up you can use some old lace if you like but this very very pale pink ribbon i like it too so put some glue in there see to attach the ribbon and a bit over whole length to close it up so you won't see it and just glue it shut that won't go anywhere once the glue is dry and repeat on the other side so bit of glue in the middle and over the whole opening thanks yeah like that and press shut well the ribbon is drying you still have an opening here and here and a bit of corners here you can use some washi tape over there as a spine too if you like but i'm going to again glue some ribbon on there i'm going to glue it like this yeah quite like that there's ribbon out there that already has some uh, adhesive on them so that's even easier i'm starting here i'm going to put a very 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 thin i'm going to try yes 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 it's happening a very thin piece of uh glue you don't need very much and let's see shiny side up yeah that's this one in the middle gently rub it there and then turn it over and I'm going to do the same here I'm going to wipe out the glue with my finger on this side to see what that makes yeah that's even better than i did on the front so learn from my mistakes there because you'll see the thickness of the glue through here a bit well this is drying you can prepare the brewing instructions because if you like you can put a tea bag here and a tea bag there or you can put a tea bag in the one side and a card with brewing instructions or a self-made card with some uh, love or thank you note in the other pocket 
write a beautiful message on the card. By the way, if you like to add text to these cards with your computer before printing, I have a marvelous tutorial for that. It's in the link below. And when it's dry, just tuck a tea bag in one side, tuck the brewing instructions in the other side, close it with a nice bow. And there you have it, a very nice thank you gift for tea lovers. Or if you make a lot of these, these make perfect thank you gifts for a wedding. And they're quite cute, I love them very much. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you think, hey, I've got a friend that might like this too, please don't hesitate to share the link to this video. I wish you a truly wonderful day. Bye everyone. We're giving these crafting printables away to those who subscribe to our newsletter. Here's how. Click on the subscribe link below, click on the button I want this now and fill in your information. When you've done that, simply click submit. You'll receive an email with a confirmation link. Click that link and moments later you'll receive another email with a download link for your freebies. Mm -hmm.